Hi guys, Scott Woodward, the preview of the Gold Coast Titans for 2014. And um, look, this is a side that just disappoints me every year. I get excited about their list, and yet again they've got a very exciting list. And they just continue to let me down. They get themselves in wonderful winning positions. They have no problems in scoring uh, points above 20, which should get you home in most games. But unfortunately, they concede more points than what they score. And uh, they just constantly let uh, their supporters down. They, um, if, they, if they have a little bit of lack of injuries and they put everything together, they certainly uh, can trouble any side in the competition. And they've, they, they've proven that over the last couple of years. Um, look, here's some facts. Um, their coach, their coach um, John Cartwright, uh, seems a lovely bloke, he, but he's coached this team as their foundation coach, 172 matches, and he's still under 46% win record. And given the quality of his list, I just think that is a deplorable record. Um, and we'll go through some of the quality in that list. To, to be under 46% um, when you've coached the team for that many years, it's just, just, uh, it's just crazy to me. I just don't understand it. Uh, look, and I'm not quite sure if it's going to get much better. Um, let's talk about a couple of things that, uh, to me, are uh, standout things to do, and they just haven't happened. Uh, Ryan James is clearly the best prop in this club, and uh, I'll be surprised if he starts the season as prop. He'll probably come off the bench yet again. Uh, to me, he's, he's the standout prop. He should be starting. He's big, strong. He gives good go forward, and it really worries <clears throat> the opposition. And I think he's capable of playing good minutes, uh, but uh, I'll be very surprised if the coach doesn't go with his tried and tested. Um, Nate Miles, who's, who's not a genuine prop as far as I'm concerned, he's un he, he doesn't play like a big prop, a big strong prop. He's just a high work rate guy. Um, and uh, the, uh, the other guy who I'm sure that the coach will go with is the skipper, Luke Bailey, who everybody loves. And, and that's fine. Once again, I'm sure he's a nice guy, but he doesn't scare anybody. Now, if the Gold Coast go with, with this forward pack, Nate Miles, Luke Bailey, Greg Bird, um, and Ashley Harrison, and... Um, there's no doubt in my mind that they have to throw Dave Taylor in there somewhere because it's just a, a very tiny forward pack. There's not a lot of size in this pack um, if, if, that, that, if they're going to leave Ryan James out. If they're going to leave Ryan James out, they've got to put Dave Taylor in the back row. They've got to have some some uh, big guy in that pack. Uh, it's certainly a very mobile pack. There's no doubt about that. And the six and seven of Aidan Souza and Albert Kelly are very, very elusive. Albert Kelly, I think, is the most elusive runner in the LNRL. When he's got the ball in his hand and he has a little bit of, bit of room to move, uh, he's the most elusive guy in the NRL. And I actually put him in front of Ben Barber in, in that regard. Uh, the problem with, with Albert is he just cannot tackle whatsoever probably the worst defender in the NRL, and most teams know that, and most teams run at him. But he certainly um, overcomes that um, as far as tack is concerned. He's a very, very dangerous guy, and I'd like to think that um, the coaches will do some work on his defence and maybe play him in a position where he's not going to be so vulnerable uh, to the team. Um, Aidan Caesar continues to impress me. Uh, been a, a wonderful get by the club. Had a great season, um, and, I, and I, I'm sure he'll be their main um, guy to go to again this season. Uh, William Zillman, I like at fullback. Uh, they have some other options at fullback, but I like William. Uh, I thought he had a breakout year last year. Um, and he went very good at the end of the season before that as well. And um, whatever you see a young guy continue to improve every year, that's what you want to see. And Will Zillman is one of those guy, guys. So we're looking at Will Zillman, um, Caesar and Kelly uh, as the 1, 6 and 7, and uh, Matt Schrammer, who had some injuries last year. But I have a very, very high regard for him. He's very elusive, got a high work rate. He's only a little... But he works his backside off, and he's a very good defender. And for him to come on and be then be relieved by both Falloon, um, the Gold Coast have got a very, very good working spine there, and a dangerous spine with a lot of lot of dash. Um, now uh, we've talked about their forward pack. Um, they've got a lot of big names in that forward pack: Ash Harrison, Dave Taylor, Greg Bird. Um, they're guys that uh, you know you want in your team. So it's certainly a very, very good forward pack. Uh, and some of the guys off the bench. Um, uh, go, go okay as well. Certainly Luke Douglas um, doesn't scare anybody, but he does offer some size um, and he has got some skills and he does keep turning up. Mark Minicello um, has been there for 100 years and, um, you know, while he's probably dropped off a little bit, he's probably worthy um, of a position on the bench at this stage. Um, I like what I saw of Ben Ridge last year. He must be pushing for a starting spot in the forward pack as well. So there's a little bit of depth there um, for the coach to uh, call on. In, um, in, in the forward pack. 
look, the club's biggest problem um, has been their centres. It always has been the biggest problem. And um, they've, they've let Jamal Idris go. And uh, I can't believe they let him go. And I was very disappointed the way that he was managed. Anybody that knows um, Jamal knows that uh, he needs to be handled uh, with kick gloves. He has a lot of schoolboy instincts and um, does a lot of things that probably will get him into trouble, probably doesn't handle alcohol that well. And um, to have somebody that's so talented um, and, and was in a, uh, a new and strange area for him and not have somebody babysit him, he's that good that he should have been babysitted. Uh, he was obviously going to be going astray and wanted to put his hand up and get out of there. Uh, and the Panthers were astute enough to know that and they did something about it. But... He's a massive loss to the club. Let, let, make no bones about it. Uh, they've swapped him for, for Brad Ty, and Brad Ty wouldn't, wouldn't tie up his boot laces. He's not in the same class, but Brad Ty looks like he'll be the starting setter uh, for the Gold Coast Titans. Brad Ty's got very good dash, um, and that's about it. Um, but, you know, they're not lacking pace. They've got, they've got uh, Will Zimmerman, they've got Gordon, they've got Mead. Uh, they've got Kelly. There's a plenty of dash in that back line. They don't really need a speedy guy. They need somebody who can make line breaks, who can make tackle breaks and, and can score tries and, and set other guys up. And that's what Jamal Idris gave them. He was outstanding uh, when he was on the field last year. And he was one of the guys who looked like he might get this club into the top four last year. I think they're going to really struggle now without him. Uh, going to be interesting to see who they settle on. They have, have picked up Morris Blair from the Storm, who I have a high regard for, and uh, I think he'll do very well in that other centre position. Uh, we've yet to see Licky Licky um, uh, hold down a first-grade spot. He hasn't lived up to his promise in the under-20s, and Brad Takarangi... Um, uh, Look, I think he's probably better suited off the bench. He can play in the back line and he, and, and he can also play second row. Uh, clearly, he's not a good defender, which is why uh, the Roosters let him go. But he has got a lot of talent. He does run good holes and he's got a very good offload in him. And um, he would probably be very dangerous off the bench. So, um, like, um, if you like the Sharks, the Gold Coast have got a problem with the centres. They've got a problem with defending and they've got a problem with scoring uh, more points than what they concede. And, um, look, they finished uh, ninth last season. I think there's a possibility if they can get, get their act together and they don't have so many bad injuries that they had last year, they can actually play semi-final football. Certainly they have the talent to play semi-final football. I'd like to see the coach um, make some decisions that uh, are best for the club and don't pick his mates and don't pick the Mr. Nice Guys in the team, I think the club will do a lot better if that happens. Um, I just want to um, touch on a couple of other things. This is the one club that I had a lot of trouble finding a young gun for. I went through their list, I went through their top 25, and quite frankly, I'm trying to find out who was a young, promising kid um, coming up um, who I could put down as a young gun, and I really, really struggled to find an up-and-coming kid. And that would probably tell you something about this team, that I, I really couldn't find one. Um, having said that, I, I managed to find one and settle on one. But um, uh, I, I need to see the Gold Coast have a better structure in attack and defence um, to what I saw last year. I thought it was very disappointing. Um, they're fine when they're, when they're going well, and when they're not going well, they've got, they have players all over the place and were very disappointing defending their line last year. So I think there's a lot of upside. There's a lot of improvement. Um, they have got uh, now, as an assistant coach, the Cowboys coach has, has joined them. Um, now, while he's an ex-first grade coach, which is nice to have as an assistant coach, he has a similar winning record um, to the current coach, and he also had an outstanding list of the Cowboys. So, you know, from my point of view, I'm not that excited. Uh, you don't get sacked from a club and have, a, have an under 50% uh, strike rate when you've got an outstanding list, um, especially when you include a bloke like Jonathan Thursday in your side. Uh, so to be under 50%, that tells me that you're no superstar as a coach. So um, the Gold Coast certainly have some problems in the coaching area. Um, they aren't that strong in recruiting good coaches. And from what I've seen of their list and from what I've seen of the young guns, uh, they haven't done a very good recruiting uh, job, full stop. But if they can stick with their quality players that they've got and they're not too hurt by the state of origin, I still think they've got a chance of making the top eight. So if you follow the Gold Coast Titans, good luck. I hope you have a good season. Cheers.